విజయవాడలో గణతంత్ర దినోత్సవ వేడుకల్లో గవర్నర్ ప్రసంగిస్తున్నారు ఇప్పుడు ఆ లైవ్ చూద్దాం become the second state in india to achieve 100% electrification of all households during uh, during june 2016 the installed capacity in the state has increased by 100% in the last four and a half years as a result of policy push and promotion the cumulative renewable energy capacity in the state has reached 7464 megawatts which includes 4059 megawatts of wind and 2591 megawatts of solar the state has also discovered very low tariff for solar power at 2.70 per unit which has reduced from 6.49 per unit in the year 2014 The energy met, met has increased from 43810 MU during 2013-14 to 62000 MU during 2018-19 registering an increase of 9% annually. The per capita consumption of electricity has increased from 1174 units from 957 units during the period. An investment of around 36604 crore has been made in the state in renewable energy since June 2014 which is generating employment to around 13000 persons mainly in the Rayal Seema region. The state is promoting energy conservation and efficiency measures in a big way. Under these schemes, 2.20 crore LED bulbs have been distributed to households as a replacement for incandescent bulbs. 6.23 lakh street lights have been replaced in urban local bodies with energy efficient lights. 20.09 lakh street lights have been replaced in gram panchayats with energy efficient lights. 2.84 lakh energy efficient fans and 1.4 lakh numbers of energy efficient tube lights have been distributed to the households. And 44,874 numbers of non-ISI pump sets have been replaced with energy efficient ISI pump sets. A target of these 1 lakh efficient, efficient pump sets was proposed for replacement with energy efficient ISI pump set. AP Transco has achieved transmission availability of 99.90% which is among the highest in the country. The AP Discoms has also, have also, started, have also achieved T&D losses of 9.7% by September 20, which is the lowest among the state's at, uh, owned utilities in the country. The state government effected no tariff increase to agriculture and domestic consumers in 0 to 900 units annum range during the last four years. For the next financial year, there has been no proposal for increase in tariff. The key achievement of AP State Fiber Net Limited, including connecting 5.8 lakh households and enterprises across 13 districts of other pages as on date, 4,000 plus villages across 620 plus mandals thus far, and 2,300 plus Zilla parishes and municipal schools from virtual classrooms, AF, A, APFS, SFL, in the last 4.5 years has contributed to increase of 5.7% of internet penetration in the, in the state. Budget allocation for education department has been increased from 15,681 crores in 2014 to 24,961 crores in 2018-19. Initiatives like Manavuru Manabadi, Badi Pilistondi have reduced dropouts and improved gross enrollment ration and student retention. The better teacher pupil ratio in AP, which is above the national average, was achieved through appropriate rationalization and consolidation of schools and teacher deployment. National Achievement Survey recorded significant improvement in AP rank and performance. In class 10, AP state performance is first in mathematics and second in overall performance in all subjects. Programs like Gnaradhara, a systematic year long remedial program designed to support poor farm, poor performing students help in this, helping in this regard. Effective implementation and real-time monitoring of the midday meal program through which quality hot cooked food is served to 35 lakh students of 45,528 schools has been immensely contributed to retention rates of students. In the last four years, 3,640 digital classrooms have been set up. Also, 1217 virtual classrooms have been established in distant and remote areas consolidating the digital learning among government schools. On the school infrastructure, fund 33,145 additional classrooms are being constructed at an estimated cost of 4,848 crore besides construction of compound walls in 21,200 49 schools. Under the Badi Costa scheme, bicycles have been distributed to 1,087,318 grades 8 and 9 student girl students. During 2018-19, it is proposed to distribute 3,81,142 bicycles under this program. Several policy initiatives like timely promotion, interstate district transfers, on roadiums, rationalization have been taken to improve teachers', teacher service conditions. For intermediate education, 15 lakh textbooks have been distributed to 2 point lakh students of government junior college. Efforts have been initiated to introduce digital classrooms in these colleges. To provide inclusive, affordable and quality higher education, the government have embarked the state universities and colleges national and international ranking frameworks. Six universities have obtained a place in India's top 100 universities with Andhra University and Sri Venkatesha University finding a place in the top 50. Improved accreditation of 10 state universities and 180 degree colleges is an indication of the improvement of quality parameters in the higher education in the state. The arrival of reputed national institutions like the IIT, NIT, IIM, AIMS, IIACR, NID, NIDM, and private institutions like VIT, SRM, Centurion, CRIA, XLRA, Amrita to the state has put the higher education scenario in the state to high pedestal. Also, increasing number of industrial seminars and phenomenal increase in the state, campus recruitment of students from the state is a reflection of the government's efforts in this field. 
to augment the human resources, government has issued orders to faculty for faculty recruitment of 1,385 teaching posts in the state universities and 669 lecture posts in college education and 406 lecture institutes in technical education. To develop the campus as green campus, renewable energy has been utilized by installing solar equipment in 47 colleges, enabling students to learn in eco-friendly manner. The government of Andhra Pradesh are providing health services to the people through its various institutions and implementing various programs to strengthen the health care delivery system at all levels. The government has provided primary health centers in 7,548 subdivisions, 1147 primary health centers and secondary health services through 195 community health centers, 28 area hospitals, 30 additional hospitals and tertiary care health services through 23 teaching hospitals. To strengthen the health care deliveries within the state, several initiatives such as Tali Bidda Express, NTR Baby Kit, Chandrana Sanchara Sikitsa, National Free Dialysis Program, Mukhya Mantri Aarogya Kendralu and NTR Vaidya Pariksha have been undertaken. As many as 7,19,512 postnatal women have utilized Tali Bidda services since the inception of this program. A fleet of 271 vehicles is used across the state. A total number of 6,91,489 6, mothers have been provided so far with NTR Baby Kits, Kits under Chandrana Sanchar Chikitsa, a doctor, nurse, a lab technician, and a pharmacist are mandatorily available in 292 mobile medical units in remote areas, and 50 types of drugs are dispensed with nine diagnostic tests and ECG conducted. NTR Vaidya Seva, with a view to provide enhanced and strengthened services under the NTR Vaidya Seva, government are implementing 873 surgical and 171 medical procedures to the poor people who are below poverty line in 455 end panel hospitals. The total number of patients benefited under the trust is 12,706 with an expenditure of 5,330 crores by the end of 2018. The state government announced further enhancement of maximum limit for treatment from Rs 2.5 lakhs to Rs 5 lakhs per family from April this year. Under the National Free Dialysis Program, 48 free dialysis centers are functioning across 13 districts in, in uh, government sector. All dialysis patients are provided a monthly patient Rs 2,500 from the NTR Barosa scheme. The Mukhya Mantri Aarogya Kendra, which provides state-of-the-art health services <coughs> free of cost to urban and urban poor and slum dwellers treated 75,776,281 outpatients for medical services and 7,17,881 teleconsultancies are conducted. For NTR Vaidya Pariksha, there are 105 labs in operation which includes 7 mother labs and 98 processing labs spread across certain districts. A total of 1.54 patients have already availed of this service till date. 108 emergency response is a 24 by 7 free service for any emergency involving people. Hospital desk was established in 19 hospitals, 8 districts and 19 te 11 teaching hospitals to facilitate a continuum of care from ambulance to hospital. Other health service initiatives of the state include Mukhya Mantri EI Kendram, Mukhya Mantri Bhala Suraksha, Mahaprasthanam and E. Aushadi. Under universal health coverage, the state governments are implementing schemes such as Arogya Raksha, Employees Health Scheme, Working Journalist Health Scheme and Amaravati Residence Health Scheme. Andhra Pradesh MedTech Zone at Visakhapatnam has developed an excellent ecosystem for medical devices, manufacturing, with facilities like process of testing of medical equipment, certification, regulation, marketing, as well as research and development program. <coughs> Ten national organizations and four international centers and secretariats have been brought to the zone. The state government have increased the old age artist pension from 500 to 1,500 a month from January 2015. Financial help is being extended to 641 literary and cultural organizations, which are extended, which are extended about 4.5 crore till date. GOs were issued to establish seven academies, namely Sahitya Academy, Sangeet and Nitya Academy, Natak Academy, Folk and Creative Active Academy, Drushya Kalala Academy, History Academy, and Science and Technology Academy. To encourage sportsmanship among children in age group of 12 to 18, six sports academies were established under Project Panchajanya. Currently, 600 promising sportspersons in the said age group are being trained in 19 sports disciplines. NTR Krida Vikasa Kendrams are being provided, established to provide sports facilities to the children, youth, men and women in all the 175 constituencies in the, of the of Andhra Pradesh. The state government has established systems to ensure people-centric governance taking advantage of technology to the last mile beneficially by introducing necessary policy during the last four years. The state government are committed to ensure corruption-free governance and make the system accountable and transparent. The government have recently released white papers on 10 identified themes recently highlighting the achievements in the last four and a half years and the way forward for the next five years. So far, government had six rounds of general...